guys, it's Mrs. Howard, and today we are talking about probability of simple events, and we just so happen to be using Skittles to do that. All right, before we get started, there are some key vocabulary words that you will need to define. So the very first one that you'll need to make sure that you get down in your notes is outcome. Okay, outcome is any one of the possible results of an action. So that action may be flipping a coin and you could get heads or you can get tails. Um, the action could be rolling a die, you could get a one, you could get a four, you could get a six. So the first thing you'll need to define is outcome. The second vocabulary word that you'll need to define is simple event. Well, a simple event is one outcome or a collection of outcomes. For example, picking a red Skittle from a bag. Simple event could be rolling a die. A simple event could be flipping a coin. It could be spinning a spinner. So the next vocabulary word that you'll need to get in your notes is simple event. Okay, and the next one, the third vocabulary word that you'll need to get into your notes is probability. And probability is the chance of that event happening. So if our simple event is rolling a die and we want to get a six, well, it's the chances that we actually get a six. If our simple event is picking a Skittle from a bag, or picking a red Skittle, well, it's gonna be dependent on how many red Skittles are in the bag, okay? So if you need to, pause the slide here, or pause the video here so that you can get these vocabulary words written down. All right, moving on, our key concept here is talking about probability. So if all outcomes are equally likely, what that means, guys, is if everything is equal, um, theoretical, you might also hear theoretical probability. In theory, what would happen? All things being even, um, no chances for variability. Um, the probability of a simple event is a ratio that compares the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. Okay? And so in your notes, you'll need to make sure to write down this formula, and it is a quick and easy formula. All it does is compare the number of favorable outcomes, meaning whatever you want to happen, to the number of possible outcomes. So if you need to pause here, go ahead. Make sure that you get that formula for the probability of an event into your notes okay once you've got that done we're gonna go ahead and move on to our first example so we've got a bag that contains 15 skittles there are three each of red yellow and orange four purple and two green skittles in this bag and we want to know the probability of picking a purple skittle okay so our event here is picking a purple skittle okay so we're going to start with that formula that we just talked about, the formula for probability. Okay, that formula is the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. Okay, so in this um, event, our event is picking a purple Skittle from the bag. Okay, our favorable outcomes, well, what we want to happen is a purple Skittle. So we want to know the number of purple Skittles there are in the bag. Well, there are four, so we've got four favorable outcomes here out of 15 possible outcomes because there are 15 total Skittles in the bag. Okay, so this is a generic formula, but we can make it more specific for our problem. So we could rewrite this equation as the probability of a purple. So this P means probability, and here's your event, purple Skittle. And so we're going to compare the number of purple Skittles, which is our favorable outcome, to the total number of Skittles, which is all of our possible outcomes. And so in this case, that happens to be four purple out of 15 total Skittles in the bag. And so what that means is if um, we have a four out of 15 chance of getting a purple Skittle, or you can also think of it if we pulled a Skittle from the bag 15 times, theoretically, um, if all things are even, we would get four purple Skittles, or we would get a purple Skittle four times. Okay, so notice guys that this is a ratio or a fraction. Remember also that anytime we're dealing with fractions that we wanna simplify them. Well, this one can't be simplified, it's already in simplest form. Okay, so make sure you get that example down in your notes and let's move on to example number two. All right, so we've got that same bag of 15 Skittles. This time we want the probability of picking a green Skittle. Okay, so we've changed it up, not purple this time, we're looking at picking a green Skittle. Okay, so 
using that generic formula, favorable over possible. Our event this time is the picking a green Skittle. Okay, our favorable is gonna depend on how many green Skittles there are. Well, there are two. So we've got two green Skittles out of 15 total Skittles in the bag. And so again, we can rewrite this to be more specific for our problem. So instead of using that general formula, we can say the probability of getting a green Skittle is the number of green Skittles over the total number of Skittles, okay? And so in this case, that's two out of 15, and that can't be simplified, so that's our probability, two out of 15. So um, if we were to draw Skittles from the bag 15 times, we could expect to get a green one two times, or we have a two out of 15 chance. Okay, so I hope those two examples were easy enough. What I want you to do now is go ahead and pause the video while you work examples three and four. Remember that um, you're doing these as fractions, so if those fractions need to be simplified, make sure you simplify your probability. All right, so in example three, same bag of Skittles, and you want the probability of picking a red Skittle from the bag. So I'm gonna skip over that generic equation and we're gonna go straight to, we've got the probability of red, okay? So that's the number of red Skittles over the total number of Skittles, okay? And so you should have noticed that there were three red out of 15 total Skittles. So you've got a three out of 15 chance of getting a red Skittle, or because we're dealing with fractions, we wanna simplify that. So both of those, I know you know that they can be divided by three, okay? And so that means our chances of getting a red Skittle are one out of five, okay? All right, on your next example, you were supposed to find the probability of not picking a red Skittle from the bag. So again, I'm not gonna do that generic formula, but we're gonna be specific. We want the probability that we will not get a red Skittle. So we need the number of Skittles that are not red out of the total number of Skittles, okay? So there's three red, that means that left over, if you add the yellow, the orange, the purple, and the green, there are 12 Skittles that are not red out of 15 total Skittles and that can be simplified to four-fifths. So we've got a four out of five chance of not getting a red Skittle, okay? For those of you who are interested to know, that's actually called a compliment when you're looking for a not event, okay? All right, let's move on to the next type of simple event, and that is mutually exclusive events. So this is on the back of your um, video notes sheet. So make sure to go ahead, flip it over so that you can get the definition of mutually exclusive events. If you need to pause it here to write that down, then you can. Okay, but mutually exclusive events cannot occur at the same time, okay? So it's the probability of two mutually exclusive events is found by adding. So can occur at the same time and it is found by adding, okay? Your notes also ask for a formula for that, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you that formula here. Okay, um, so two events that can't happen at the same time, so you've got this first event or the second one or option one or option two. So you're gonna take the probabilities of those two events or options and add them together, okay? So favorable outcomes for option one uh, to come added to the favorable outcomes for option two over your total number of possible outcomes. Okay, and to make that make a little bit more sense, if we refer back to our Skittles, that may be getting a red or a yellow Skittle, okay? So you're gonna take your probability of red Skittle and add it to the probability of yellow Skittles, okay? Um, one thing that I want you to keep in mind here is that you are only drawing from the bag of Skittles one time, okay? Um, So this is not um, two different events. This is only one event. You were only drawing for the bag one time, so it's still a simple event. You're only drawing for the bag one time because you want a red or a yellow, okay? You're not doing a red one and then a yellow one, okay? You're only drawing from the bag one time and you can take one or the other. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, so let's actually find the probability of getting a red Skittle or a yellow Skittle, okay? So I'm gonna start with um, my generic formula, okay? Um, this time I'm looking for a red one or a yellow Skittle, okay? My number of favorable outcomes is gonna consider both the red ones and the yellow ones. So I've got three red Skittles and I've got three yellow Skittles out of 15 total Skittles, okay? So if I rewrite that, 
I've got red or yellow, I'm going to add my red ones and my yellow ones together. Because instead of just having the three red ones as a favorable outcome, I can add in the yellow ones. So now I've got a total of six favorable outcomes because I've got the three red and the three yellow that I'm considering. Okay, So my chance of getting a red or yellow is 6 out of 15. And that can be simplified by dividing those both by 3. So my chance of getting red or yellow are 2 out of 5. Okay, So all we did here was add the red and the yellow Skittles together for our number of favorable outcomes. Okay, So what I want you to go do here is pause the video, go ahead and work examples number 6 and 7. All right. So in number 6, you were looking at the probability of getting a purple or a yellow. Okay, so purple or yellow means you're going to add the purple ones and the yellow ones together. Okay, so I've got four purple and I've got three yellow, so that's seven favorable out of 15 total Skittles. Okay, and that cannot be simplified. Easy, too easy. All right, your next example, you were supposed to find the probability of a green or orange Skittle. So this time you should have taken your green Skittles and added them to the orange Skittles. So there are two green, three orange, so that's five favorable outcomes out of 15 total Skittles. And that one can be simplified by dividing those both by five to get a probability of one third. All right, so hopefully you've got an understanding now of probability of simple events. Don't forget that you have a summary to fill out. You are supposed to write that in complete sentences, at least two complete sentences. How do you find the probability of a simple event? And then can probability be expressed as a percent? And I want you to explain why it can or cannot be expressed as a percent. All right. Um, come to class ready to work and maybe there will be some Skittles in store for you. Bye guys.